their game playing seriously. In darkness they came. Their destination, the Games Academy somewhere out at sea. Their mission, to become games playing legends and to crack the challenge of Games Master. top-notch platformer beat em up action for you, plus a stonking celebrity challenge. But before we let our special guests loose on the consoles, let's go straight over to the Games Master to find out what the first challenge is. Games Master! My first challenge tonight is Mr. Nuts on the Super Nintendo, a rather delightful little platform game set in the great outdoors. Our contestants have to run through the opening level in the fastest time possible, avoiding the perils set by dear old Mother Nature. As I'm in a good mood today, I think I'll give each contestant three hits before they meet their maker. Ah, oh, well, a generous gesture there from the big cheese. Oh, do get on with it, Fletcher. Oh, sorry about that, Governor. OK, let's have a big hand for our first three contestants. We've got Alistair MacDonald from Warwick, we've got Tom Jenkins from Worcester, and Amber Grigg from Kent. Come on! <laughs> How you doing? Fine, right, thanks. So, uh, have you got a computer at home? Yeah, I've got a Sega Mega Drive. You've got a Sega Mega Drive? So, quite good? Mm, all right, yeah. Yeah, OK, then. What about you, Tom? Have you got a computer at home? Yeah. You have? How do you fancy your chances tonight? Do you think you're going to win? Yeah. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Of course you are. OK, good. What about you, Amber? How do you fancy your chances? I'll win. You'll win? Yeah. So, Amber's got a fan club in tonight, haven't you, Amber? Yeah. OK, the way we're playing this game is, is this is a qualifying round, OK? So the two of you with the fastest time, you'll go through to the final, and where one of you will have the chance to win the fabulous Games Master Golden Joystick. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. OK, good. Right, Amber, you're going to go first, yeah? OK, you two, you watch here on the monitor, see what you're up against. With me in the comments box today is Dave Perry of Mega Power Magazine. Now, Dave, how are you? All right? Right, not bad. Good stuff. Now, um, this looks like a bit of a cutesy wootsy game, really, doesn't it? Oh, uh, no, no. It's a jungle out there. There are vicious uh, blueberries, there are huge caterpillar monsters, yeah. and there are giant bees, and they all want to do Mr. Nuts some serious damage. So Good it's stuff. a battle for survival as well as a race against time. OK, so it's a real jungle out there. And what can they do then to speed themselves up? They've got to get through in a fast time. Well, the time. secret the secret on this is when they jump on the bad guys, they want to just uh, press the jump button again and flick themselves off them. They get an extra, extra powerful right, jump then. Propels them a bit That's more. right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep the momentum going. OK, then, well, let's find out if our contestants are ready. It's the two to get through with the fastest time. They're the ones who are going to qualify. OK, I've got my stopwatch ready. Let's find out if Amber's ready. Yeah. Oh, you, re you are? Yeah. OK, well, here's the green light. Go! <laughs> well, off she goes. She's off to get some speed and momentum. Nice up. bounce there. There's a speed button on the joypad, which lets her go faster. Yeah. But really, she's just sort of concentrate on bouncing off these bad guys. She doesn't really need to pick those up, hit. does she? She's only got a couple of hits. Well, she's been now. hit once, yeah. She's only allowed to be hit right, three times. Right, and then she's out of the game. Then she's out. She's, she's, got, she's got 20 seconds so far she's on the block. Well. Oh, that's one right. One more hit one there. left. the end of the level. That's she's it. done it. 24 seconds. Good it's stuff. Not a bad score. Good stuff. Not a bad score. OK. Right, now we're going to swap round. We're going to have Tom in the hot seat now, please. He's been watching over there by the monitor. Let's have Tom in as quick as we can. Thank you, Amber. OK, well, Amber did it in 24 seconds. Let's see if Tom can do any better. Let's find out. Tom Thumb, are you ready? Yes. You are? Are you sure? OK, then. The clock's running now. Go! <laughs> right, off he goes. He wants to get some nice early Good jump bounce. Good stuff. Keep the momentum going and get his speed up. Back to the nuts and just keep going. Yeah, just keep going. Don't try and pick anything up. It's not Good about bounce. points, it's about speed. That was a good jump. He's coming up to 15 seconds. Off this good stuff. Come on, That's Tom. It. A little bit more length. Good bounce. He's doing well. He's get not been hit once yet. Yeah. Get caught in between these blueberries badly. Good no, man. He's launched the giant 
keeping. 33 seconds. Doing very well. Good stuff. You can do it. So far. Yes, keep Back running. Just over this little lot here. Yes. And that's it. End of level. Excellent. Very good. Oh. Very Tom's good. Tom's the man. Good one. Very good. Okay, okay. Tom scored 30 seconds. We're going to get Alistair in now and see if he can qualify with a faster time than that. Little cheer for Alistair. Three. Okay. It's got to be 30 seconds. Can he do it? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Can you beat it? Yeah. You can. Good man. Ready? Go. Alistair. He's away. And we heard Good. from that was very, very confident. He's going to certainly bounce far. himself with the Very time. fast. And those are perfect jumps. He's, He's getting the length as well as the height. That's He's getting a good landing as well. Do. He's only done it 12 challenge. seconds. Good stuff. Oh, Come on, Alistair. Stuck there. 22 seconds. Walked away with it there, really, yeah. didn't he? Good Brilliant stuff. Time. Okay, let's have a big round of applause for all of our contestants. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Melissa. Now, now, Tom, you, you didn't quite make it. You'll be up. Stupid. Shut up, stupid. Do you want to fight, mate? No. All right, then, watch it, sunshine. Well, anyway, commiserations. Amber, you just squeezed through there. Pleased about that? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to do all right in the final? Yeah, I'm going to give it my best shot. Good girl, nice one. So, Alistair, here's the man. 22 seconds. I think I just timed the jumps right and got a game. Yeah, good stuff. You did indeed. It was very fast time. Well, well done, Alistair. You'll be joining us in the final with Amber. Unfortunately, Tom won't. But let's have a big round of applause for all of them. <laughs> well, after that nutty challenge, let's go and see what our critics have got stored up for the winter in the reviews. Jump into your flashy Lamborghini and put pedal to the metal in this all-action race across the states for big money prizes. The challenge is an illegal road race that's going to take you through several American states, uh, trying to avoid prosecution by the police and also racing other illegal road racers. All right? It's fast, it's furious, it's tasty. You can bet on your own performance in the races, and this adds a bit of tension that actually makes you care about how you're doing in the game. It's got incredibly smooth scrolling, wonderful graphics, and the car sprites are amazing. This is definitely the choice for Game Boy racers. Pac-Man is back in a one or two player block dropping extravaganza. It's got over 50 levels and a special puzzle option, but did our judges welcome his return? I was weaned on Pac-Man, even from an early age, and to see him coming back making a bit of a comeback nowadays, it's brilliant, it really is, it's so refreshing. If you play Tetris or Columns, you know what to expect. The blocks come down, you make shapes, you make lines, the blocks disappear. Only you've got your little Pac-Man characters in there now, and all of a sudden a Pac-Man comes down and eats them. It's good fun, the graphics are lovely, the sound's nice and jolly. It's very simplistic, and at the price perhaps a little too expensive, but puzzle fans will love it. <laughs> Dizzy is a puzzle-packed eight-level chase to rescue his girlfriend from the evil wizard Zax. How does it fare? It's your standard platform game with a few simple puzzles thrown in and a tiny little sprite. I mean, the guy's an egg. I mean, how interesting can that get? Because it actually separates itself from the rest of the field by introducing a sort of puzzle element. You've got to find things and place them in the right places to progress. The graphics are nice, the sound's nice, and there's a fairly hefty challenge there. Not bad at all, this one. We all like to switch on the box and goggle at a good movie, take in the latest sounds, and even spend a little while on the old games console. Well, wouldn't it be great if we could find a machine that would do it all? And wouldn't it be even better if we could find one small enough to carry around? We saw Philip CDI on the show last week, but does the portable version match up? At first, I looked at the machine and thought, OK, this is a portable. But what's the LCD screen like? Well, from what I've seen, the graphics are really good. The actual sample speech and sound effects are very clear. There's no answer to a body like that, believe me. Compared to all the CD machines, this is excellent. People can take it anywhere. Watch it in the train, watch it at home, watch it in bed. You can never get bored. The portable also connects to a full motion video module to create games that look like real life. But are they playable? Compliments of Mr. Hawk. Gameplay might need speeding up, but the images are looking good. Philips have just signed a deal with Paramount to produce 50 movies on CD. Using the controller, you can slow down or speed up or freeze frame your movie and have even more control of your viewing. 
In the future, games companies will send crews to movie sets to create CD games with you as part of the cast. But in the battle for viewing standard, CD's gonna have to go something to kick VHS systems out of the home. It may be the shape of things to come, but at 1,300 quid, you better hang on to your cart and check your bank balance before you do anything too drastic. Something there for everyone in the reviews. Now, our celebrities have arrived at the Academy, so let's go and see what test of skill the Games Master has cooked up for them. Games Master! Next up is the second round of my special Gladiator's Clay Fighter Challenge. The game remains the same. The best of three rounds of zany beat-em-up action. But this time, I've chosen two different characters for our muscle-bound competence to play. First in the ring is Icky Bob Clay, a pumpkin-headed ghost with a sting in his tail. Facing him is Blob, a very flexible lump of clay who specializes in putting the boot in. The prize is a place in next week's grand final. So it's all to play for. So, tonight is the second round of our Gladiator Championship. Please give a big hand for Colossal Cobra and his sexy opponent, Scorpio! <laughs> Now, the Games Master's giving you the choice of a couple of characters. Have you made your decision which one you want to be? I'm going to be the Blob. The Blob. The Blob. Yes, I'm sure. Um, and I'm Icky Bod Clay, or Ick to his friends. Ick to his mates, that's yeah. absolutely right. They've got some special moves. You don't know what they are, do you? Uh, no, but... I'm not I'm, right. You'll find out, don't I'm worry. I'm a bit worried, actually, because uh, we've had a practice. Yeah. And I'm not that good, and if I don't no, win don't any Don't say games, that. You're going to be fine. No, she's gonna, she'd <laughs> never let it down. She would never, ever let it down. In fact, if we were boxers, she'd be Mike Tyson and I'd be Julian Clary. No, 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 no way. You're gonna do all right, don't worry. It's gonna be best of three rounds, all right? Okay, so if you wanna see the gladiators battling out on clay fighters, you better stay tuned. thing is the flavor it hits you like <laughs> no because they look like <laughs> knickknacks they look <laughs> but they taste This commercial is dedicated to all those who know what practice makes. And that McDonald's do takeaway. Imperial Leather's range of shower gels, a little luxury in the privacy of your own home. Isn't that right, Mr. Trusso? <gasps> Where's he gone? There's a university that believes that the happiest days of your life needn't end when you leave because you go prepared with the highest quality all-round education behind you that gives you the degree and the confidence to see you on your way. De Montfort University, reserve your seat of learning here. This is nice. Phone doesn't work. A little dusty, but it's nice. Woohoo! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> so. You guys want to be cowboys, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Drop your pants. What, in front of the cows? Just do it. <laughs> guys! For me, 
see. The best hair color is a color with superb shine and a color that lasts. Now I found it. Casting by L'Oreal, the new tone-on-tone -tone shampoo in colorant. Casting, just twist and apply, so easy to use. Casting, so gentle with no ammonia. Casting from L'Oreal, the new deep shine color that lasts. Casting, makes my natural hair color more beautiful than ever, and it lasts. Casting, the new deep shine colorant from L'Oreal. Welcome back. We've got Cobra and Scorpio battling it out on Clay Fighters. It's going to be the best of three rounds. With me in the commentary box, I've got Steve Carsey, an old face. Hi, Dexter. So, Steve, Clay Fighters, we've seen it before. We have. But who do you fancy for tonight's well, challenge, then? I don't want to go on the wrong side of Cobra, but my money's on Scorpio tonight. Right, I see. So, what's some of the special moves they can look out well, for? Well, I mean, Scorpio's playing Ichibod Clay, who's yeah. a very elusive character, very fast around the screen. Quite ugly as well. Very ugly, yeah. Mm. Um, so, really, I think she's going to get the best of the blob in the long run. Okay then, so it's going to be the best of three rounds. Let's see if our gladiators are ready. Are you ready? I think so. Here we go, start fighting. Right, there's the energy bars. Nice and healthy in the beginning. Very healthy to start with, of course. Here comes the blob. They're demonstrating one of his special moves there, which is he can change into different shapes. Well, that's very handy if you're going to have a fight. Now, Ichibod Clay is very elusive, as I was saying. Yeah. He can actually teleport oh, around the that. screen. Ichibod's energy oh, yeah. bar went right down now. That was a good move there from Ichibod. Good coming back. Oh, look at the blob's energy. Nice just kick moves in the bedding round. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Going for a low blow. The blob just seems a bit phased by that. In goes the boot. In goes the boot. Putting the boot in. Oh, now, Ichibod's dizzy now. This is a good time for the blob to go in and go on, make a blob, Make your move. Energy bar on the blob. Very even. Disappearing very rapidly. Even. It could go either way. Cut. They're jumping on his Trying head. to stomp him there. Stomp him. Oh, yes. And the well, Ichibod wins the first round. No energy left for their blob now. Let's see if Cobra can do any better in the second round. And of course he needs to to get into no. next week's final. Definitely. Okay, now watch the energy bars. They're going down all the time. Every hit, every kick. Take off quite a lot each time, don't they? Yeah, different attacks have different uh, nasty damage to the face. Okay, he's got Icky a good the blob. All over the blob. He's got Icky Icky already celebrating there. by the looks of it. He's hardly got any energy left, the blob. Okay, now, now the blob's got to be very careful here. Oh. Right. And it's all Icky over. Wins the second round as well. Devastating tactics there from Scorpio. So Cobra was mercilessly smashed into the ground in two quick rounds there. But let's have a big round of applause for both our contestants, Cobra and Scorpio. Well, I can't shake your hand. All right, then. Well, so you basically got smashed to pieces in two rounds. Yes, you could say that. Uh, she hit me before um, I even got going. Yeah, she hit you before you even got up. I was about as fast as a paraplegic tortoise. Yeah, you weren't that quick even. No, I don't think I was. Bit of a wimp, but don't worry about it. Go. So, you won as well, eh? I did. Pleased about that? Definitely now. I'm going to take Shadow on. That's right. You're going to be meeting Shadow in a final next week, yeah? For a big showdown on Clay Fighters. OK, well, thank you very much, thank Shadow you. and Cobra. Let's have a round of applause. Well, after being stung to death by Scorpio, Cobra is just the sort of chap who could do with some help from the Games Master in the consultation zone. Hello, welcome to my own personal benefit office. Who's our first claimant? Games Master, is there a shortcut on Mr. Nuts for this Super Nintendo? Actually, there is. On the first level, you will come across a broken tree stump. Jump up next to it, holding up on the control pad. You'll be able to enter the stump and take a different, shorter route to the end. Great, thanks. A pity you didn't know that earlier on, eh? Will the next lucky young thing come forward? I'm having trouble on Zelda for the Game Boy. How do I get to the genie at the end of level two? Oh, hold on. I'll just adjust my view. Well, you must be orderly about this. Get to the room that tells you about the key. Don't go around killing enemies willy-nilly. They need to be in a set pattern. Rabbit, bat, Stalfoss. The key will then appear, allowing you to open the door at the end of the level, and then you'll be able to face the genie. Good luck. Oh, great, thanks, Brill. Games Master, I'm a bit set at playing Cool Spot on the Mega Drive. Can you help me at all, please? Of course I can. Pause the game and then press A, B, C, B, A, C twice. 
This will magically transport you to the end of the level and make you invincible too. If you can't get through now, you're beyond even my powers. Thank you. Right. I've had enough of you cannon fodder for the time being. Bye now. Well, some tips of advice from Mr. Know It All there. Now, please, if you will, welcome back our two finalists, Alistair MacDonald and Amber Grigg. <laughs> Very close in the first round. You were the fastest, weren't you? So, how do you fancy your chances then, Amber? I'm confident. You're confident? Yeah. That's because you've got all your family with you? Yeah! All right, you lot, okay. Couldn't you bring a quiet member of your family? No? There isn't a quiet member of my family. Oh, that's good, that's all right then. So, Alistair, how do you fancy your chances? Well, I won the first round. There's no reason why I shouldn't win the second. Absolutely. Okay, well, let's go over to the Games Master, find out what your challenge is going to be, yeah? Oi, Games Master! Our final game tonight is Muhammad Ali's Boxing on the Mega Drive. This game requires subtlety, tactics, and a gentle persuasion. <laughs> Only joking. Your best bet is to slug it out until your opponent collapses. Or, failing a knockout, the greatest number of punches landed wins. Two rounds of a minute each should be enough to sort out our contestants. Second out. Aha! So, Muhammad Ali Boxing. Do you know the game? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. Fancy your chances? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. You are? Yeah. Good stuff. What about you, Alistair? Yeah, I think I'm going to win. Yeah, you do. What characters have you chosen? Ali. Mohammed! OK, we've got Mohammed against... Bart Rambler. Bart Rambler? Yeah. Why have you chosen him? Because he's a bit more powerful than Mohammed Ali, I think. Oh, you think so? Well, we're going to find out in your challenge, aren't we? So, if you want to take your places, we can get it underway. Welcome again, please, if you will, Dave Perry. All right. How you doing, Dave? You, OK, we've got Muhammad Ali boxing on. There's a few boxing games on the market, but this one's a bit different from the rest. Do you want to tell us something about it? Well, in the words of the great man, th this is the greatest. Um, greatest. Basically, the, the graphics are great, the sound's great. You've got 360 rotation around the boxes, so you can see their full figures all the time, and you feel like you're in there having a really good scrap. OK, but uh, the scoring system's a bit different on this game than it is from others. Do you want to tell us a bit about that it as is, well? yeah. The main thing to look out for in this game is the number of hits you get in on your opponent. Right. And in the bottom corners of the screen, you'll see both fighters number of punches landed, and that's what's going to win the fight. Right, that's what we'll be looking out for, the number of punches landed, or if the opponent gets knocked out as well. So, number of punches landed, if you get knocked out, you lose. Let's find out if they're ready. Are you ready, you two greatest people? Yeah. You are? Then get boxing! They're off. And away they go. Ding. The thing to look out for in this fight on, are the power and speed oh, bars Ollie. at the top of the screen. Right. The power bar determines how much Scoop power he's got left to hit with, the speed is how fast he can hit. Okay, and you can tell how the fight, right. fighters are doing with those bars. Oh, it's 13, oh. 4, 6. Amber, oh, it's Amber's put Alistair down the in the first round. He's Push, he's going to punch that button, A, B button, button really fast button. to get up. He's up, he's up. He's, up. he's, he's got up. some energy back, but if Amber goes up. in, Good. you can Let's put go. him down again. There's plenty of time. Come on, Alistair. Got it's a real slugging match, isn't it? Amber's running away with this. 24 to 4. Oh, Alistair's down again. Push that B button. Like Not much energy coming back. Right, He'll be up. up. Oh, saved by the bell. End of the first round. OK, that's Alistair with four hits. And that's Amber with 27 massive hits. 27 to 4. It was a bit of a whitewash it the first round. It is a bit round. of a whitewash the Two first knockdowns round. as well from Indeed. Amber. Indeed. Alistair's got to pull it back now. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. They're off. Come on, boys. They go, in. go on, boys. Ending. Toe to toe. There's a good and right. Bart's trying to. He's just not fast enough. And Ali's Bart, snaking right. jabs in his face it all the time. Ali. Ali's Amber's taken a few Ali. more hits this time. Alice and that's Bart standing Amber's off. just stood there as Ali, just slinging away. Every time Bart comes in, his he's head's bouncing eight. back. He's yet to make double figures. He's got no choice but to slug it out, because the fight's going to go on numbers of hit landing. But every time he comes in, he's on the canvas. Ali's making he can't get close. I must say. Pull out Alistair. His energy bars are going down again. If Amber goes in now, she can knock him out again just before if the bell. Amber moves in. She's got six seconds, four seconds now left. They're hanging off each other. That's going to be like it now. There's the bell. Conclusive Whoa. whitewash. Oh, oh. 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 Away with it now. Uh, whitewash. 54 punches landed to Alistair's measly 10. Oh, well. Let's have a big round of applause for both of our contestants. OK, good stuff. Well done. Uh, well, not well done for you. You got knocked to the canvas twice. What happened, Alistair? I think I chose the wrong character. Maybe a bit more speed. Maybe yeah. Done it. 
Well, Sharon, look out. You chose the wrong character, as you said. Now, Amber, the champion! <laughs> oh, good stuff. OK, OK. Amber, Amber. Good. Amber, you mustn't bring your family next time. Very well done. It was well done. Are you happy about that? Yep. Pleased? Are you surprised yep. you won? Yeah, I chose the right character. I chose the right character. Absolutely, you did. Now, this means that you have won the Games Master, fabulous Games Master, Golden Joystick. Ooh! <laughs> edition of Games Master, and our champion Amber Grigg would do well to heed the advice of the immortal Rocky Balboa. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, end up with brain damage indefinitely. See ya. Games Master, the official book by Dominic Diamond, is out now, priced £6.99 and available from most bookshops.